when the Britishers first came to this land, uh, they saw the land and then the land pattern, the use of land pattern, and then they say that Konoma is worthy to be named as cradle of civilization because the land pattern was so scientifically used by our forefathers. Our land, the topmost portion of our land, the highest portions are our forest. We are very rich in forest, our forest areas. And then from there, the soil fertility flows down to the gym cultivation. So just below the forest areas, you will find our gym cultivation, which is also very fertile. And then from there again, the soil fertility flows down to the paddy field, which is uh, surrounding our foothill, the village foothill. Now our forefathers, uh, they were farmers and hunters. So when they saw the fertility of the land, they thought of cultivating it. And But uh, anyhow, the land was all high hilly ridges. So the only option to make cultivation an appropriate place was to pile up rocks and rocks uh, into a formation like uh, a wall to retain soil erosion. So the water distribution is uh, something very unique here because uh, as you see our village fields all these are divided into small small plots and every plot the, uh, belongs to one individual or the other. These plots are gifted to us by our forefathers and handed down generations after generations as, as inheritance. Now my plot will be neighboring with many other plots. So, the owners of that particular spot area will decide and they will uh, survey which is the best place to irrigate the land to, or to bring the water outlet to, in order to supply to the fields. So after survey, they will identify an appropriate place where water could be tapped to supply to the, to the respective paddy fields and manually they will work out, uh, collectively they will dig out the irrig irrigational channel which is uh, taken, uh, which is constructed to the paddy fields. Now the division, uh, division system is something again very unique. If my plot is the farthest in that same area which is also neighboring with the other localities, then I am considered to be uh, the sole owner of the irrigational channel. That is because since my paddy field is the farthest and the water reaches me the latest, I am held uh, sole responsibility for the irrigational canal. Because I go, I, I'll have to, in order to bring water to my paddy field, I will have to regularly go and check the canal and then see the water holes, block them, and then make sure that the water reaches my paddy field. Now, it is also a traditional practice in our village that uh, it's, it is a very great shame on my part if I were to supply my paddy field and keep my neighbor's field dry. So, it is a must that I should always make sure that my neighbor's field is well supplied. Only then I take the water. Likewise, my neighbor also makes sure that uh, his neighbor's fields are well supplied. So, in order to send the water the overflowing water to the other field, I always make sure that the water outlet in my particular paddy field is at the same spot and then it has been out, uh, the outlet is supplied to my neighbor and then my neighbor likewise practices the same method of uh, letting the, outer out, uh, uh, the water supply to his or her neighbor's field. So the water distribution system here is uh, something very unique and there can never be any dispute because it is like a a tradition being followed from ages till date. In order to conserve our water sources, we have come up with a very good concept that is total banning of logging and deforestation in order to protect our environment, our trees, so that it gives sufficient water to our land. So I think with the change of time, Konoma village also is uh, facing a lot of challenges. It's a period of you know, culture in transition, I would say. Uh, the good moral values that are being practiced by our forefathers, I think they are really unique. 
now with the advance of age, we have also uh, gone for higher educations and experienced ourselves in towns and city lives. We are, we are also at the verge of losing away many of our cultural values, the good practices, and then the hard work, the spirit of hard working. I think these are some of the challenges that uh, we should really look into very seriously and then avoid it or preserve it before it is too late. As a boy grown up, born and brought up from a village like this, Konoma, I would uh, encourage any man, may, uh, any Naga boy or girl or even people from outside to really stick to their identity. Losing our identity is just like losing, losing our root.